हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू वेलकम टू वर्ल्ड चेस सो देर इज ए मार्वलस गेम प्लेड बिटवीन फाबियन कार्बोना एंड मैगनस कार्लसन इन सेंट लुइस रैपिड एंड ब्लेस टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ग्रैंड चेस्टूर अफकोर्स दिस ग्रैंड चेस्टूर एक्चुअली ओन बाई मिस्टर एरोनियन सो लेवन एरोनियन सो ही प्लेड दिस ग्रैंड चेस्टूर फैंटास्टिक एंड अफकोर्स ऑलमोस्ट आफ्टर टू ईयर्स ही एक्चुअली ओन ए सुपर ग्रैंड मास्टर टूर्नामेंट अफकोर्स कॉन्ग्रेचुलेसन एंड प्लेट्स Let's give our attention to this legendary game between Carbona and Carlson. So, in this match, uh, Fabian Carbona with white pieces and Magnus Carlson with black pieces, and uh, this is really the final position. And of course, uh, this is the third time actually Carbona beat uh, Carlson in this tournament. And of course, this is not a very good tournament for Carlson fans, but for Carbona fans, I mean, it is uh, almost everything. So, this is the final position, and you can see the only the rook maneuver can. Actually, save this position, but of course, uh, this position is still undefendable for Magnus Carlsen, like there. So let's see that what actually gone wrong, and let's analyze this game, fully analyze. Okay. So the game, of course, uh, Carbona with white pieces. He normally played the move e4. Okay. E4, e5, <clears throat> and now knight f3, knight f6, and knight, knight c6, and uh, bishop to bishop b5. Okay, bishop b5 was played. I think why I'm using engine. I should stop engine. Okay, so let's do it. So bishop b5 was played, and now a5. So remember that this game actually is a rapid, I mean, blitz game in round two and three. So that's why there are so many moves that you might feel very uncomfortable. That why they played this move, but uh, yes, this is what they played. So. A5 and this is called the Suleiman defense of Rui Lopez C63 and just a little bit not D3 and take take and now knight knight actually attacking the pawn pawn over to D4 and now the castle at this point and now you might wonder that why actually the castle and normal players think why that is a mistake so now you can take it. and uh, here comes some you know big bang i would say so this you can play and you can never defend it with this because i can take this and of course you cannot take because the knight is spinning so this kind of things can go wrong when you are playing in amateur chess or some club level chess but they know so that's why the castle was done and that's why d6 was played just to, just to support this pawn so that uh, one day man can take it but so that move was played in it and now you can never take it okay so g4 <coughs> g4 was played bishop g4 pinning the knight to the queen and now h3 again the notch and h5 bishop back to h5 knight c3 protecting the pawn and of course not on protecting the pawn but he actually claiming the claiming the square of d5 and now queen joins the game of course ready to castle and bishop e3 and developing the bishop bishop e7 again developing the bishop and of course you don't know in which direction they gonna castle karona already castle but uh, for magnus castle point of view you never know and i mean th there is a funny castling position in this and of course there is a funny castle was playing in this match so f8 and uh, a4 after this a4 move computer says uh, why rook to f8 you should castle in this position and castling long is good so let me show you okay not now so rook to d d a rook f8 that that, that is really mistake but at this point castling was a pretty solid move But indeed, they played f8, so that was again blitz game. So that's the point. So e2, not to take any kind of pawn damage right away. And bishop takes, and bishop takes, and <laughs> king to f7. So Magnus don't like to castle in this position, and that is pretty odd. And maybe that cost him the game. So knight to d5 again. I was telling about that. Uh, that d5, that d5 square is pretty important square. in this kind of uh, rule of space position so king there and again 
Carbon is just pushing the pawn so that they can, I mean, Carbon can damage the pawn structure a little bit. So a6, c3, h8, and now uh, this move. Of course, this move is just eyeing down the square to b7, and you are again protecting the knight so that you don't need to take it with the pawn, with the pawn over to e4. So knight to d8 protecting, protection, super protection. And rook d1, d5, so eyeing down on the on the bishop. So bishop don't drop, drops back, but bishop again draws back to g4 so that it can attack. So b5, so trying to trading off some pieces because this king uh, queen is super active. So takes queen takes d5 and uh, Carlson like player, I mean player like Magnus Carlson, the world champion. Who is again the bliss champion? He played queen takes b2, and that is uh, the first, uh, maybe you can say, the error of the game. But uh, rather, you should play the move d5, and the queen should not be trapped. And at this position, actually, after the queen took b2, and there is some queen trapping chances, and that's why he lose one one material in this position. But the position is this. You should not uh, take queen b2, but uh, you should rather take this move. So queen takes g5, I mean queen takes queen, and now rook takes queen. So the and the line can goes like this. So this is again a stockfish line. So stockfish like to play in this position. So that's it, and uh, this is the position that stockfish like to play the game. You can see that solid position from both point of view, but but what they played is actually they played, so they are human. So now c4, c6, b1, so a3, b6 again, just uh, you know blocking, blocking any kind of uh, little bit hole. A1, I mean man is just you know in the over of the edge. I mean. At the edge of the universe. So rook to b1 and attacking the queen that doesn't actually matter anything. And at this position, okay. Yes, rook f uh, b1, but in this position, of course, Carvana indeed made a middle mistake, but he should have played the move this, and the game could have goes like this. So that is a pretty, you know, healthy position for Fabiano Carvana. You can see that the position is just torn apart. But Carvana played the move uh, rook f to b1, not to move a b1. And again d5, again this was uh, a little mistake. But uh, the move c2 was indeed a good move. And the variation can go long and long like this. And this, this kind of things can happen. So again, Carvana is better, but in this position, I think Carvana is not that much better what in the previous position. So d5 was played in the game. So that d5, that notch, and after this move, so d3, d takes c, and d7. Of course, iron down this beautiful bishop, and of course, you can see that one of the reason why. That he actually lost the game is because that he is now losing the piece actually. And of course attacking this. And of course and now you cannot take, I mean you cannot play anything. I mean in this position, I mean I mean Magnus Carlsen is already lost. You cannot own this position against a player like Fabio Carona when you are pieced down. And especially two bishops are killing it. And in this position, I mean that is not a mistake, but uh, the better is to take with this and uh, not to not to waste any kind of pawn structure damage. But Karuna played uh, Karuna took with the pawn. So d3, this and now this thing. But uh, in this position since that uh, uh, Magnus Carlsen is little bit you know downed in this game. So he could have rather than pushing it but he can take it with this and I think in this position uh, of course, uh, there may be some drawing chances, chances, but uh, not a quick mate. Of course, with uh, with the queen and with Carvana, it is very difficult to beat him. 
so again b1 but uh, i was i was thinking about this move this move is just you know extraordinary move i'd say and e6 i don't know why he played this move but rational move so, so king there i mean that's a very funny move so d6 now carbona started to you know grow his position to the half left corner so e7 g6 h takes g and now rook bt2 and you can see the stain gun you would say so g8 of course you don't have any kind of moves to play actually in this position and that's why the only moves are king moves and again this b6 move it, it is not a blunder but not even mistake but just little bit in inaccuracy and the fine move was this move and this move is just you know this position being defended by two pieces and of course yeah you are defending these two pieces but there is a piece there is a piece of yours and the position can go like this and Karuna could have won this game you know a little bit faster and this thing could happen okay but uh, he really likes to play the bishop to b6 and of course blocking these two pawns and again these pawns so again this move was played but uh, that is not the right move i would play it the move was that rook to d7 and the variation can go like this okay but after this uh, b6 move and what carlson played carlson played uh, e7 which is again a mistake but c8 was a little bit little bit good move i should say and this is still not a middle game this is actually an end game and the variation could have goes like this long variation but uh, there is not fasting mate so this kind of thing but uh, he played the move e7 and uh, normally e7 was been played just to protect the pawn here and maybe some little bit extra protection over the f7 square so e3 and now c7 but uh, a better move was the move these because the back rank is really really problematic and d7 so c8 e6 so c5 pawn to c5 and now c4 and c4 just to take the pawn here and e8 so no take the pawn so he take the upper pawn on the b7 square and now h7 of course uh, carlson is running out of moves and of course there is a little bit time trouble for carlson of course carlson had in time trouble uh, again against uh, mvl mvl yesterday and where he could have lost the game but because of some time trouble he actually drew so now things get really messy and of course you are ending up uh, with this with this beautiful pass pawn so h2 f6 so queen g4 queen g4 yes queen g4 so check and of course this king is just you know running and it would run forever i mean i never seen i never seen this kind of things in my in my entire life that carlson carlson's king is actually running like that so this kind of thing but uh, the beautiful move was this move and that is just that is just it so that is him that is a faster way to meet but of course they are in time trouble that is blaze game so that's why the game goes like this so just little bit little bit notch over here and a5 again that is a mistake the move was this move and now of course there is no drawing chances but that is not quick mate g8 and now of course there is no defense whatsoever e4 and this g4 and g4 plus and that means uh, that's uh, a pretty you know just you can say the smackdown i would say pass the beat down and then the smackdown and that is the only move to save this position is this and in this position i don't know what you what you say there are so many moves here you can play and i think the best move in this position is the move this you cannot play in any anywhere but to 
Of course, you cannot play. This, that is just. You can play this move, I think. So the best way to play this this move. And now you can take. And now what you can play? So many moves you can play the move. I think this is the fast, better move. I would say. This move you can play. And this thing can happen. So that was some variation, but this was. Uh, So this was the position that where Carlson actually handshaked with Carvana and he said well I resign. So that's the thing. So thanks for watching the game and hope you like this. I hope you like this analysis, little bit notes and of course ups and downs of this game. And let me show you some I think some computer analysis of the game. Uh, where the opening and the middle game and the end game. So let me save a screenshot. So let's see that what was really the blunders, blunders of them all. What was really the blunders move in this position? And computer says what was really the blunder is this move. This d5 move is actually the blunders move of all. And that is a position that when Magnus Carlsen really feel that sorry about this position and it is a positional mistake. Of course Carlsen played some un unbalanced position and he likes to play unbalanced position but this is the most unbalanced position and of course he is just out of control and at this position computer says uh, i mean carbon is plus two and of course that is the move that actually cost him a piece in this match at this position you can see that there are two bishops and of course uh, uh, carlson had one bishop and one knight but and then of course this bishop this bishop over to e7 actually that was lost forever so that was the uh, that was i think the move of the game for carlson to lose the game and that then Again, there are another move, I would say, that was again a mistake, and the game was these two. This is, I think, a very, I would say, a childish move, and I don't know why Carlson is playing, and of course, Carlson's form is a little bit, I mean, he is out of form, of course, uh, there are so many players are out of form nowadays, but of course, in so many sports, you see that players are out of form, but uh, of course, Carlson is out of form like this way, I never expected, of course, I feel sorry for Carlson, I'm really... Uh, a fan of Chase and of course I am really a good, very big fan of Magnus Carlsen, PC Arnold, again Carvana, but of course Carlsen form is I mean, just shocking. Of course he will be back in the next three Grand Chess too. And this is my promise. And this move I think, uh, I don't know why he played that move. Maybe too, he was too little bit too cautious about these pawns and about the knight over to f6. Okay, so today is too much and of course today is uh, from India I would like to say happy Independence Day to all my Indian fans all my Indian uh, chess players all my Indian people that uh, of course all the, all the people who actually fought for the fight and fought for the independence and so that we are living very safe and of course all the militaries and Javans for their life life saving activities and of course again thanks so if you like this game and please share this game okay and of course uh, just give a like if you like this game and again you can comment uh, whatever you can whatever in your mind and i think the best way to say that asking me some questions like this that uh, who do you think right now the best player in the world is it magnus carlson is it carvana is it mpl or is it uh, the our latest champion uh, of this you can just to our the ironian okay the ironian actually just started to begin his his flame over two chessboards okay so for that and as i would say class dismissed